guys, how's it going? Brad here, Brews on a Review. Thanks for joining me for another beer review, guys. Today, I'm taking a look at a beer. Okay. It's from Nio. It's my best crack at it. And this is their 500 Imperial IPA. This one comes in, it's a 10% ABV. Hundred IBUs. Uh, I'll read this here. It says nothing like celebrating your own milestones. This is our celebration of 500th batch of beer. It was brewed with joy and splendor. The brewery was wearing a suit, and a TV station filmed the event. So you know, they stuck with it. They keep making. They make the beer now year round. I think. I don't. I'm pretty sure. But I think they're out of Norway. I just said that. But. Let's get this one poured. Oh shit. Oh, look, guys. Very dark. Does uh, super cloud? I can't see through it at all. Looks like a barley wine. Tan head. Let's check out the aroma. Wow. Big maltiness. I pick up on this one like it's very very big aroma get big piney hops on it bit of like a caramel kind of sweetness mixed with like a ton of piney notes there it's got a really big nose on it so I'm gonna just get in there pretty nice it's got a, it's got a medium mouth feel it's, it doesn't start very bitter you get that the big multi notes and a bit of sweetness there but it does kind of turns into a pretty good lingering bitterness Get kind of a raisin, brown sugar, kind of malty sweetness. A little bit of piney hops, not like the nose. And then, yeah, a bit of that bitterness at the end, but. <clears throat> hmm. Yeah, it doesn't. Uh, seem like a lot, it doesn't look or really taste like a lot of Imperial IPAs or doubles. It does lean a lot closer in style towards barley wine, in my opinion. Still fucking absolutely delicious, but it just seems closer to a barley wine. Uh, 10%. Man, I I can't say that I'm picking up any booze for the 10%. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> it's a big, big flavor, though, big aroma. It's not a beer you can just chug because, just because you can't taste that booze, but it's could be a pretty sneaky one. Pretty good beer, though. Give a rating, guys. Ok, 
Okay. I'm giving the 9 out. 500 Imperial IPA. I'm going to give it an 80. And yeah, it's definitely worth trying out on. Fairly affordable bottle. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time. Cheers.